I'd like to welcome you to day one of our weekly devotions, and I'm going to start off this week by using a verse from 1 Corinthians 13, verse 12. For now we see only a reflection as in a mirror, then we shall see face to face. And I love that because one day we will see our Heavenly Father face to face. But this came up because of a situation in our home and family over the last six months, and I want to share that with you. At Christmas time, my husband and I were given DNA kits by our granddaughter, and uh, so we thought, okay, let's follow through with this and find out who we are and who we belong to. And so we did and sent it away, and about six weeks later, um, I think our son Ryan got it back first, and uh, it said he had an aunt. And so he connected with a cousin on there, and apparently my husband had a sister. Well, then when Doug's came back, it showed that he had a full sister. Not a half-sister, not an adopted sister, but a real full sister. Well, we're in the middle of a pandemic, this is all exciting, and she had been looking for her family for many, many years. She's older than him, and so she was really trying hard to find who her, her family was. Well, Ryan and Mark got together, and they um, made sure that there was a, a beautiful card written up, and uh, they videotaped her reading that she had a brother. And so we were able to view that video and see how special it was and what excitement came to her when she discovered that. We're in the middle of a pandemic, so there's no way we could meet in person, which was really difficult. So we set up a FaceTime uh, uh, period, and Doug and Carol met each other for the first time on the computer. Well, it was pretty good. The tears came on both sides, and there was a lot of love and sharing just in that moment. And so ever since then, we meet together on the computer, on FaceTime, every week, and uh, try to answer questions and just get to know each other. And it has been a real joy. But we both had all our vaccinations, and the four of us are going to meet up within the next two weeks. And that's what made me think of face to face. What is better than meeting face to face? And so I'm not sure how you will feel the first time you meet your Heavenly Father. We go and we plan these reunions in person down here, but I cannot imagine what it's going to be like when we meet our Heavenly Father face to face. It says in the scripture, For now we see only a reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. I don't know what your thoughts are on that. I don't know how excited you'll be. And uh, I just wonder what it's going to be like. But I share this because I was thinking of how excited we are about the reunion that we're going to have here on earth with Carol. I can't imagine meeting my Jesus face to face. But we have to make sure that we're ready. As with this earthly reunion, we had to make sure that we were ready, that we had everything in place, all the protocols, the vaccinations, everything. We'll probably still wear masks. But just think of our heavenly reunion with all those we are missing. I know there have been so many lost over this last year. And there are so many of our loved ones that are already dancing and praising the Lord in heaven. But I want to make sure that you are ready to meet your Father, your Heavenly Father, and see Him face to face. One of my Father's favorite songs was, 
and I shall see him face to face. It was some day the silver cord will break, and I no more as now will sing. But oh, the joy when I will wake within the presence of the king. And I shall see him face to face and tell the story saved by grace. And I shall see him face to face and tell the story saved by grace. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, today we just can imagine that reunion we will have with you, that we will see you face to face, that we will know you and you will know us, and we will be able to greet all those loved ones that we are missing, all those loved ones that have gone on before, but we know that they are at peace with you and rejoicing in that great reunion that we will all share one day. Bless each one that has gathered this morning to just uh, listen for a few moments. We pray that you will touch their hearts. In thy name we ask it. Amen and amen.